gonna be spending the next 10 hours cooking. Whatever I make is gonna go to a food bank. All right, I'm ready. Yellow, golden potatoes. Now, I'm gonna go boil some water. <laughs> Smells like water. Salty potatoes with salty water. There must be a more efficient way to do this. All right, next we shall do the chicken. I am going to marinate this with some teriyaki and the third pack, I'm gonna try a dry rub. For the last one, Pappy's seasoning. Blue label. Lift? It says to lift. Maybe it's telling me to lift more. Okay, would you like to help me? Wait, huh? You couldn't do this? Imagine if I can. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Bye, guys. So this challenge is a lot tougher than it looks because I am not going to leave my kitchen for 10 hours straight. So that means if I need to use the bathroom, I'm gonna go grab a bucket and pee in the kitchenette. <gasps> I'm gonna now move on to the cookies. So first up, I'm gonna preheat the oven to 375. Yay. Zachary, you're in my shop. Do you wanna help me bake cookies? I'm scared of the oven. How many hours in are you? I think I'm about one hour in. I've done a lot of these challenges before, but I just realized you've never really done one by yourself before. No, and it's really lonely, so I'm glad you're here. Jake, eat that and I'll give you 10 bucks. Ew! Not this whole thing. My 20. Oh! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> oh, good job! <laughs> At least your poop's gonna be smooth. <laughs> Who wants to see Michelle get egged if she fails the challenge? I am not gonna get egged because I am gonna pass this challenge. I'm really enjoying this so far. So next we have a big bowl, six cups cookie mix, two eggs, and a cup of butter. Add the cookie mix, add the egg. Ooh. Ooh. Cookie mix. So to check if the potato's done, I'm going to poke a fork in it. It's done. I'm going to season No! You. No! Michelle's very salty now. Oh dear! <laughs> Michelle, you're looking very hot. Thank you. My handy dandy potato masher. Whoosh! I am putting in one and two thirds cups of sour cream and one cup of butter. I make funny noises. I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper. Oh, that's pretty good. So next, I'm gonna make some bacon. Mr. Bacon, no! I'm gonna chop up the bacon after I'm done cooking it so I can put it on top of the mashed potatoes. I'm gonna put my pan on medium heat. This looks about done. I have my cutting board and I'm putting a paper towel on top of it so the oil can soak onto the paper towel. Crispy. Ooh. I love cookies and it's also good. <laughs> Time to go pee in a bucket. I gotta go. <laughs> Thank you. See you in a bit. I need to make sure the cookie tastes good. Mmm. I want to share this. Would you like to try a sugar cookie? Wow. Michelle! We are going to decorate these cookies. Also, I invited the subscriber over. Everybody here is tested. So later I'm gonna have her choose between my cookie and Jake's cookie. Oh, yeah. I really just went off. Thanks, Jake. Let's go make the chicken. I set the oven to 425 and I will be baking it for 25 minutes. <laughs> Ooh, that looks good. Oh, that looks good. Oh. Yum, yum. Now it's time to make the broccoli. Okay, so first I'm gonna put the pan on medium heat. Gonna drizzle some oil. As the oil heats up, I'm gonna crush some garlic. Throw that in there. Zachary, what are you doing with my bacon? It looks yummy. I'm gonna put the broccoli in. 
So I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper and a lot of salt. We're going to put some chicken stock and a little bit of soy sauce, not too much. a subscriber her name is Marissa Hi. and we are gonna be taste testing my food first we have a loaded mashed potatoes careful Ooh. it's good it's you like it really good. Yes! And the bacon is like perfectly crispy all right so we have a couple of choices for chicken we have a dry rub this one's barbecue and these two are teriyaki <laughs> it's a really good flavor to it <laughs> do you like broccoli yeah, I really do. It's like steamed perfectly well. It's not too crunchy. All right, last but not least, we have dessert. So over here, we have two sugar cookies. One is decorated by me, and the other one is decorated by Jake. Jake, come on over here. If you were to choose a cookie to eat, which one would it be? I'm gonna have to go with the swirl, because I like the <laughs> So up next, we have all the ingredients for a chocolate chip cookie. Marissa, you're gonna help me bake it. Okay. So this looks really good. Let's bake it and see if it actually tastes good. Let's see how our cookie turned out. <laughs> oh my god. It's a one giant <laughs> cookie. So next up, Marissa and I are gonna have a competition. Whoever can make the most sandwiches win $100. And I have Zach, Jake, and Mackenzie here to distract this. Food fight! <laughs> you're you're an idiot sandwich. <laughs> In a sandwich, you're gonna have to have lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, turkey breast, and mayo. You have to put a cutie and the sandwich into this bag to be counted. All right, three, go! Okay! <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a lot of mayo. Ew! 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 Oh my gosh, your sandwich is about to be a salad for the most part. <laughs> you guys should have at least not used the end part of the loaf. You would not judge the butt end of the loaf. Of course Mackenzie would like the butt end of the loaf. <laughs> I think that's all. Oh! What? Hey, 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 Michelle, how many completed bags do you have? <laughs> is that one or did you not put a cutie in it? I didn't put a cutie Michelle. in it. Michelle was about to make a, a double butt sandwich. <laughs> oh my gosh. Marissa, congratulations. You win $100. <laughs> yes! Mission complete. Uh, thank you so much, Marissa, for coming over. Congratulations on your $100. Feel free to grab any food that you want to eat and have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is so much fun. It's getting pretty cold in here and I'm all alone. Zach doesn't want to join me. I've done enough of these challenges, Michelle. But next, we are doing more chicken drumsticks! Yay! So what was that? Yeah! Oh. So far we have this many sandwiches. But before I go pack it up, I'm gonna go make some rice. So for every cup of rice, I like to use two cups of water. I'm probably going to make about four cups of rice, so... I'll put eight cups of water. And before that, I also like to wash the rice. In less than an hour, I'll be done. And I'm so excited. Ah, the chicken is done. And it looks so good. I think I have about 30 more minutes left. I might make some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. All right, the 10 hours is up. We've made 26 boxes and 45 bags of sandwiches. In total, that's a little over 70 meals. This can feed probably like 14 to 15 families. So. And that can feed two Michelles. Hey, well I did eat a little bit while making it. And in each box, there's a bunch of veggies, a bunch of rice, and three drumsticks. All right, time to donate these to hungry families. 
for our homeless breakfast guest. <gasps> we have to kind of look it through it and see. Thank you guys. It was great. It was Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great weekend.